Welcome to LearnDigitalDesign.com. This will be our first tutorial on Blender. Please visit us on the web at www.LearnDigitalDesign.com. Today we're going to talk about how to get Blender. And if you don't know what Blender is, Blender is a 3D graphics generator. You can create your own 3D graphics and you can do it for free. You do not need to go spend a lot of money on a high priced program. Uh, so let's first of all go to your browser. I use Mozilla Firefox so I've got it open already and we're going to type in www.blender.org that's .org and here Blender is and uh, you, know, you can take your time and read over these news headlines and announcements you can learn about character animation and stuff right here on the Blender site and stuff but if you want to get Blender go up here to the very top where it says download click on download and then you'll see that there are several versions maybe available but the most recent versions are going to be available right here on the main download page if you have windows 32-bit windows here is your installer it's best to go ahead and just get the installer um, 64-bit windows there's no installer yet but you can download the zip file there's a option for Linux 32-bit and Linux 64-bit here also Mac Solaris and Irix so there it works under a variety of operating systems especially since here these two here I don't even know what they are but they're there if you need them since I have a Windows operating system, I'm going to go ahead and download the 32-bit installer. It's going to open up a new window. And it says you have chosen to open Blender, whatever your version is, and uh, you just save the file. And I've already got Blender downloaded, so I don't need to uh, do anything else there. And I've gone ahead and opened Blender here. I have my set up a little bit uh, different than what the uh, default settings may be but uh, this is an easy setting to get to I'll show you about how to get to these settings later and there's no doubt the first time you open this up you're gonna be a little bit overwhelmed immediately there's so much here there's so much so many little buttons uh, there are so many little panels uh, you know, just it seems like they go on and on and on and on and on, and they do. There are so many options, but don't let that discourage you, because there are only a few of these options that you're going to need to know just to get started. And then once you get started, then you can slowly start to add to your personal development toolbox that that you carry around with you on what to do, as far as these more advanced options go just be happy that these advanced options are there for you later when you are ready for them but be comfortable knowing that you don't need those advanced options right off the bat and uh, as you know you know this is a 3d program and we are working in full 3d here this it, it starts you out with a cube here um, there's also a uh, this is a lamp right here which is a light source under that cube for rendering Oh, excuse me this is the camera this is the lamp this camera would be at what angle your uh, image would be looked at from when it's rendered and rendering is something I'll talk about in a future tutorial but it basically shows um, it, it basically is gonna do a full version of what you've created and it's gonna show all the textures and everything and the lighting the way you want them now all this stuff is takes up a lot of memory so when you're sitting here developing you don't want all that because it would slow your computer down immensely so when you render something it's actually gonna take a while to render for the first time and if you've done like a movie or something once you render it one time you can just watch the movie um, and when you render an image it takes a little while to render them if you especially if you have something really detailed and then uh, once you have it rendered then you can save it as whatever type of file you'd like basically over here all this is is different views of the same image 
this is the same square you see here or cube you see here in these images uh, this is just something um, showing the different parts in your scene which you see I press camera and it highlights the camera here the cube we've selected the cube now um, the lamp right here and you can really have a lot of fun with this program so please don't be intimidated I mean if you've ever played with clay you're gonna it's, that's what it's gonna feel like once you get just a little bit into it but that's enough for today on just showing you how to get blender in the next tutorial we'll we're gonna start going into how to actually use it or better yet for the next tutorial we're just gonna be going over some of these basic buttons and stuff but um, just keep on watching and you'll uh, start to get the hang of it before you know it I'll see you in the next tutorial